I think it's very important to distinguish between facts, opinions, and beliefs. So I'm going to try very hard to be crystal clear when I am presenting facts versus stating opinion or communicating my beliefs. So let me be right up front about this. I hold three beliefs, which I'm going to share with you, and then spend the rest of our time showing you how I got to these beliefs. The first is that the next 20 years are going to be completely unlike the last 20 years. And why is this important? Because we tend to base our view of the future on our most recent experience. That's just part of being a human. It's also a gigantic liability at key turning points. So I say that massive change is already upon us. When I first gave this material as a talk three years ago, I used to say massive change is coming. Well, it's here now. That much is completely obvious. And the belief I hold is that it's really just getting underway. And I'm going to show you why I believe that. Next, I believe that it is possible, possible that the pace and or scope of change could overwhelm the ability of our key social and support institutions to adapt. Katrina taught us that a major U.S. city could be wiped out and pretty much remain that way for years. That is an example of major change occurring faster than our ability as a nation to respond. The types of changes I foresee in our economic landscape are much larger than Katrina. My third belief is that we do not lack any technology or understanding necessary to build ourselves a better future. Rather, we only lack the political will, which is really a reflection of the fact that we the people have not yet raised our voices in unison for real, substantive change. So the good news is that we already have everything we need, and the bad news is that we might not deploy it fast enough. Remember, these are simply my beliefs right now, and I reserve the right to change them if new information suggests that they are wrong.